in the book of Exodus chapter 20, and we're going to jump down here to verse 7. The Bible says, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. You say, well, see, that's talking to the Lord thy God. It's talking to saved people. But then it goes on to say, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who taketh his name in vain. Um, there isn't anybody out there that's going to be guiltless of taking God's name in vain. And uh, I was talking about this last night with my son, and I said, you know, there will be people that will go up there and get up to heaven, and the Lord will say, well, I'm going to judge you. You condemned yourself to hell. Exactly uh, 300,568,221 times. And they'll say, huh? What are you talking about? Oh, that's how many times you used my name in vain. And uh, one of the quickest ways, God's not going to hold them guiltless, so it will happen. God's, uh, God brings every thought into judgment. Everything that you say, every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment, whether it be good or evil, the Bible says. Um, everything you say, everything you think is going to be brought up at the judgment. That's why you need to have uh, someone come along and impute their righteousness to you because you're never going to make it on your own good works. Uh, that's what Jesus Christ, that's where he comes in. His perfect sinless life, he dies on the cross and he says, I'll give you my life in exchange for yours. I'll take your sins and pay for them on the cross. Unless you want to pay for your own. Most people say, I'm good. I've got it. <laughs> okay. But, uh, this issue of taking God's name in vain, what does that mean? Uh, using God's name when you're not actually praying to God. That's using it in vain. And uh, there are people that just do it all the time. Oh my G-O-D, oh my G-O-D, they'll say. Or they'll say, Jesus Christ, like that is a profane word. They're not actually calling out to Jesus Christ. All right, um, that's a problem. But you know, it actually does prove something. Very interestingly, and then you say, what's that? What does it prove? It proves who the real God is. You see, when's the last time you ever heard a Muslim say, you know, oh my Allah, oh, oh Muhammad, you know, they don't say that. Uh, I've heard Muslims actually using the name of Jesus Christ as a cuss word. Why? Huh. Did you ever hear anybody that's a Buddhist or something like that taking the name of Buddha in vain? You know, using Buddha as a cuss word? No. Um, you know, Shiva or, or uh, you know, whatever other names out there, or Lucifer or something like this. You know, oh my Lucifer. No. People don't take the name of other gods in vain. Only one God, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, and I've heard people say, oh my Lord, or something like that. Um, they're taking the name of God in vain. And uh, the Lord will not hold you guiltless if you do that. So, I remember a school teacher the one time, intermediate school, and this girl, she said, this school teacher went to the church building I was raised in, and this girl, she's sitting there and she says, oh my, you know, it's a G-O-D. And, uh, and this school teacher looks at her and she says, oh, that's neat, he's my God too. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not, uh, you know, come up with some neat little comebacks like that. You know, you get in that situation. Um, <laughs> there's kind of an interesting thing there, but uh, make sure that you get that out of your speech. If you're saved and for some odd reason you, well, I don't know how you could do that if you're truly saved, but I'll just be real gracious here for a minute. But you don't use God's name in vain. God is a God to be feared. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, the Bible says. And if you don't fear God, you'll fear men. And that's the problem with a lot of people. They fear men more than they fear God. And, um, you know, it's time we start calling out these stupid devils that will use the name of Jesus Christ as a cuss word. You know, and I, I mean, I've, I've heard uh, police officers do it. Watching this thing just the other day, and this police officer pulls over another police officer and this other police officer was real corrupt and he was drunk and everything and the guy says jc you know this police officer jc look at all the stuff in this guy's car and i thought you know police officers need to be held to a higher higher standard than that you know i mean they, the standards for the police force are getting very low and that's a shame 
shouldn't be that way so but anyhow uh, just a real quick video here about uh, the thing of taking the name of the Lord in vain very bad idea okay uh, make sure you don't do that